Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be reviewing a brand new community. We're here in Granite Bay, and this is called White Hawk at Granite Bay by Anthem United. Really nice upscale homes, really the luxury homes. Brand new here in Granite Bay. We're gonna show you guys these models, and of course we're gonna go through and show you everything this community has to offer. All right, everyone, here we are in front of the plan four at White Hawk. Now, beautiful home. This is a really popular floor plan with 3,706 square feet. It's got four bedrooms, three and a half baths with an office and junior ADU. Of course, this is one of their ADU options with a three car tandem garage. So really nice, modern looking home here from the front. It's gonna be in a beautiful gated community here in Granite Bay. So let's get inside this home. All right, welcome on into this gorgeous new luxury home here in Granite Bay. Now, what I really love about these homes is you have this really nice open layout, which is becoming so popular around here, of course, with the new construction homes. And of course, luxury is just the beginning here. Now, from the entrance here, there's, you also have this nice wider opening here in the foyer. If you look up here, they did kind of the nice exposed beams giving a nice modern rustic feel. Now, before we get too far into the home here and really into this beautiful open layout, I did want to turn here and just show you because something that this home has to offer is this ADU. And of course you have the nice, good sized bedroom right here, plenty of space in here. And it just really flows really well because it's on the front side of the home with its own access. Now over here, you do have a full bath, of course with the proper ADU, nice walk-in shower. And of course, as far as, you know, tile, styles, faucets and finishes, you can really go above and beyond here with this builder. You also have a nice walk-in closet. And then of course, over here it flows, you got a nice window here off the side. And that would be your front side entrance here. But of course you have this living quarters right here. I mean, just check out the spaces Spacious kitchen right here, good sized kitchen. Now this plan has been very popular because of this. So a lot of people like this now. I believe it's two of their floor plans do have this ADU option. So if this is something that you're really interested in, I would highly recommend uh, getting on the interest list now as they are probably selling quicker than the rest. Now it does also have that uh, separated AC, the split system. So that's pretty cool as well. Now behind this front door that we kind of walked in, you do have a washer and dryer as well. So that makes it nice because it's really that separated living. Uh, you just can have your own space there. Now, on the other side of this foyer, if we take it to the right, over here you have a nice coat closet. Of course, when people are entering, that's really functional. But over here, it flows into this nice room right here as well, which would be almost like an open office concept room. I really like that. And of course you can turn it into, you know, a loft, kids hangout area. Over here, you do have a full bath, dual sinks, and of course a nice bathroom with the shower up top. I should have said tub with the shower up top, but I do like that over here. It also has that separation with the door people are sharing. And it flows over here to a bedroom. So you kind of have that separation with the bedrooms here, of course, with the closet. So. I like that feature because, and just might I add, this is also a deeper closet with this sort of shelving system in here, so that's pretty nice as well. But I like that separation, so if kids are staying here or whatnot, they do kind of have their own space um, or even makes great space for you know a guest visiting. So I do like that as well, and this room is gonna be on the front end of the home. So good size rooms here, and it kind of has its own corridor here on this part of the house. I really like this flow, with, especially with this kind of open concept area right here. I do like that. Now over here, just to kind of show you, do have another powder room, good size, and I love the flooring they've done in here. I really like that style. And over here, it flows into the laundry room. So nice big walk, walk in laundry room. I mean, just really big, tons of shelving in here. Still got the tall ceilings throughout. Feels like its own room. And of course you have the sink here and overlooking the backyard, so really beautiful. Now, we could go this way, but I'll save that till the end because it has a really good flow there and I don't wanna spoil it. Now, back to the main part of the home. If you guys are liking this tour so far, give it a thumbs up or consider subscribing to the channel. We re-review all the new construction here in Sacramento, but 
Holy smokes, check out this huge living room. Now, one beautiful thing here is not just the ceilings, but if you notice here is the recessed ceiling. So you kind of have this really uplifted feel here and specifically in the living room here. Of course, beautiful fireplace right there. And I just love this tile all the way up to the top. So really gorgeous, modern, elegant here. And of course you do have my favorite sliding glass doors, which is becoming really popular. These stackable doors that just really flow into the backyard and really giving you that separation and that feel. And you of course have the covered patio up here. And I'll just show you the backyard really quickly. Now these lots can vary definitely. They start anywhere from about 8,000, 9,000 square feet up to 12. I think some of the bigger ones are even up to 12,000 square feet. And some of them back up to this kind of nature preserve. There's actually a pond back there. So that's really nice. There's even a little park. Now you're here in a gated community. So, and in a good location, I would say, right off Douglas Boulevard. So it's a pretty spectacular location here in Granite Bay. But it kind of gives you that separation because you're gated, you're kind of separated and uh, kind of have your own little oasis here. Now, back to the spectacular home. If you pay attention here, like this kitchen, just magnificent and huge. I love that the cabinets are all the way to the top. Of course, you have the Thermador appliances here, gas burners, love that, beautiful. I love that the hood is kind of hidden in here, blends in with the cabinetry, it's very nice. And of course you have nice big oversized island with just plenty of seating. If you pay attention here, you even have the side seating. Now, of course, some of the stuff is gonna be semi-customizable. You can go really above and beyond with the upgrades, so just keep that in mind. This is a model home. Got the dual stack here as well. Beautiful, just so much cabinetry and of course extended countertop space here in the back. This would be a great location for like the espresso machine, stuff like that. Maybe two espresso machines, right? Because we love our coffee. Now, I love the fridge here. You also have a wine fridge stacked in on the side. More cabinet space, kind of with the clear glass, show off some of the nice china if you wanted to. And of course, more countertop space with the wine fridge down below as well. So really cool design here, definitely a little bit different. They went a little bit more high end on this build. Now, it also flows into like a nook here with the dining area. Not a huge dining area, but still I would say definitely spacious enough to host six, eight or more people. And you have a sliding glass door out this way as well. So really nice for entertaining and hosting people, having the windows open and the doors open in the evening. It's just so beautiful here. Now back here, this is really more of like the formal office that they had uh, for this floor plan. So if you like having a formal office, you work from home, this is kind of on the back side of the home overlooking the backyard, which is very nice, beautiful, kind of gives you that separation as well and kind of be able to focus on your work. Now back here as well, you will have a walk-in pantry with its own window, which is really cool. Gives some nice, nice natural light. So big walk-in pantry here. And of course you kind of have this little mud room here, which that'd be coming from the garage area. All right, so beautiful home so far. I really enjoying this floor plan. Very popular floor plan. We've had a few clients ask specifically about this one but I wanna show you into the main event. Now on this side of the home, everyone gets excited, of course, about the owner's suite. And this is the primary owner's suite, just absolutely spacious, huge room here, a lot of windows, a lot of natural light, absolutely love it. And of course, if you get a home backing up to the nature preserve, it is just gorgeous back here. So I love that, kind of gives you that separation. And really what Granite Bay is known for is to have those kind of nature, picturesque places in between the homes or even a small pond in the backyard, really that's Granite Bay living. And walking into the owner's bath, beautiful bathroom. And you have the separation on the sinks, of course. And it flows over here to a soaking tub, a nice spacious soaking tub, might I add. And you have so much countertop space on this other one, of course, for the person with more things. <laughs> You choose your pick. So makeup station right there as well. That's really nice. And of course the walk-in shower. Now nice big walk-in shower, I would say. I really like this tile. It's definitely different. Kind of gives it a brown, almost dark mocha color with a gray in it. Really beautiful. 
And of course, that's super customizable just depending on your likes and desires as far as style goes. Now, over here, you do have a walk-in closet. One thing I wanted to mention is that this walk-in closet goes all the way around. It has two openings. So of course, you can have the couple sharing and kind of have their own size and their own access points, which is really cool. I hope you didn't get confused right there, but it's just really gorgeous. But the one cool thing that I wanted to mention earlier is that this flows into the laundry room. So of course, you know, parents typically are, or the owner of the house is typically doing most of the laundry. So you have that functional flow from the owner's suite into the laundry room, which I think is just awesome. Some of the builders in our area started doing that, especially in the million dollar and up price point. I'm really liking that. Now, one thing to keep into consideration here, if you're considering moving into the area, now there is a base price and of course there's a price after the upgrade. So currently with pricing in this community, you can be starting around 1.2, $1.3 million or more at the base. Of course, depending if you go into the upgrades, it could be another couple hundred thousand dollars. So just keep that in mind. The other thing you should consider is that there is gonna be an HOA, which is gonna cover the gated community in the area. There's gonna be a little local park, some walking trails. So more of that kind of upkeep. And I believe that's running around $300. The other thing you should know about is the Mellorus and taxes. So the base tax is low, but the Mellorus are running right around $400 in this community. So just keep that in mind before moving into the area. And if there's any way we can help you out, let us know down below. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this tour of these beautiful new homes here in Granite Bay. If you have any more questions on this community or wanting to get some more specific information, reach out to us down below. We'd love to be a resource for you here in Sacramento. But for now, my name is Sam with Galovi Real Estate. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next tour.